What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with another reaction to The Walking Dead. So I've been kind of silent over this past week. I think I did my stream and maybe one other video. I had a lot of planning and preparation to do for Athena's birthday party and for some other things that I have coming up on my channel. Now I did say I was going to be starting reactions to two new shows and I did say them on my stream. Also I want to insert some pictures around this area of Athena's birthday party. She turned three. Today is actually her birthday but her party was yesterday. She's she's three now. Like I took a second like yesterday to like pause and reflect and be like oh my god like all this planning but my kid is three years old. It's I don't know, it's so crazy to think about. Um, but I'm excited for this episode. Obviously, Ezekiel is going to be in it, or so I've heard. <laughs> this is going to be, or at least a little bit of King Ezekiel in here, so I'm excited. That's that's what I really want to see. Now, I did see the sneak peeks for this one. I don't know if I saw all of them, but I did see the one where um, Alpha and Daryl are talking, and there is the whisperer with the baby. Now, I did see the sneak peek, like, before this back half of the season even started, where it appears that Connie is running through the corn that she just hidden in the last episode with a baby. Like, she's running through with a baby with, like, a walker or a whisper behind her. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell. Um, so I'm kind of concerned for her because I don't know how this is going to go down. Like, if she tries to take the baby and... I don't know, I'm stressing out because I really love Connie, but I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about it. Plus, I know that Kelly would be crushed. Oh, that whole group would be crushed. Okay, I'm hyping myself up a bit too much. I'm so worried that something bad is going to happen to them, and I really love them. Connie and Kelly being my favorite out of the group so far. Um, but I guess I should just go ahead and get this reaction started and look out this week for some extra videos that I've been planning very heavily. I have a notebook full of ideas that I will share with you guys as the week progresses. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And also before I get this reaction started, I know what I'm going on like three minutes now. I do apologize. But I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the kind comments that I got last week um, with all of my Daryl hate or all of my comments, even if they didn't pertain to Daryl. I had a lot of people say that that's their favorite character or they love that character and they still watch my reactions and that actually means the world to me. Um, having all those people just come out, maybe if they don't normally comment and comment that, hey, like I understand the situation or I still watch you or I like different opinions, it, it really means a lot because all too often, um, a lot of the comments I see are hate comments and not just like, oh, this is dumb, like your opinion's dumb, like serious like death threats and like crazy stuff like that. Not to say I didn't have any of that on the other video, I actually did, but happily I'm blocking now so I don't see any of those comments anymore. Um, but thank you guys so, so, so much for the support. Like it literally means so much. It's so crazy to like feel like the outsider like, the black sheep, like, there's so many people that love, like, all of the main characters, and I feel that I see their comment section sometimes, and it's all, like, positive and wonderful, and, like, oh, I definitely hate the villain, I definitely like the good guy, and, like, I just think there's so many great lines, and to learn that there's so many of you guys that agree with me out there are amazing, or at least will, you know, listen to my opinions and think about them is awesome. So thank you guys so much. I really, 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 really appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get this reaction started. I'm excited. Let's see some King. I'll do the King. I'll do it. I saw the gloves and I was like. You want me to tell me? Okay. The Beale and I are bummed up. What? We're up the pole. What? Rodrigo. Oh my heart! I can be a daddy, your majesty. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry, I'm so happy. The future begins. Congratulations, man. You are the uh, biggest hearted among us. I <laughs> cry. Just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, oh my god, that's so great. Oh my god, I hope she's not on a pike. 
I'm so worried for everyone now that they're gonna be on a pike. <gasps> Jesus! <laughs> Might as well just take these off. <laughs> I don't need to see. If I can't see it, then I will cry. We really appreciate it. Michelle and Natalia collect dust. Aww. Nice. The Declaration of Independence. Right now. So we thought you could hold on to it. Oh, wait, was her hair being that short? Carol. I thought she got a haircut. Does that mean that they could have had the baby by now? How long ago was this? Are we going to paint this thing or what? This is so nice. Kids had seen the movie.
He, he's moved on to Lydia. Oh my god. Connie's totally gonna go for it. How could she not? She's such a sweet person. She's totally gonna go for me. Oh my god, I don't want her to get killed. perspective of this putting us like how she feels of course I don't even know if she can hear that she probably can she probably can possession thing. Well, like power. No, there's gotta be another way. Is it? You have to regroup later to think about I'm that. Sorry. You can't do irrational shit. Oh. I became all about surviving somehow. Just survive somehow. And then someone else goes to me now. Someone special. The big heart. He left me a letter reminding me that just surviving, it isn't living. And it took me way too long to get what he really meant. My mother. And my people. I miss him. And I miss you too. Henry's like, what the fuck, why? <laughs> just for the simple fact that I know he's going to go after her. And that can't possibly end well. Wow! I'm <laughs> just waiting for it. But I hope not, because I don't want Daryl to pull some dumb shit. made it out alive. Why do I not believe it? It's 
clearly just for him because she feels bad for making him feel bad. He's safe with Daryl, and I'm here with you. And we got ourselves projector ball. <sighs> Dang. Well, wait until you hear. You all right? Maybe we're done losing for a while. Yeah, maybe. Or. <laughs> Oh no, is that like their mark? Shit. He's gonna run off and go try and get her. He's not gonna be shocked. But this was a good win. I'm happy that like their like entrance back in with this back cap was like a positive one. So that episode is over and wow, <laughs> at least it went a little bit differently than I expected because I was really worried about um, just overall that Daryl talking to Alpha and Connie where she was and the fact that I knew that like the Whisperer had a baby, all that worried me, but all of that came out relatively okay. Um, Obviously, I knew that Henry was going to leave. Like, who? Come on. That was inevitable. It's... Just come on. Like, we all knew that that was going to happen. Whenever you put two young teenagers together, there's always the option that that happens. That they form a bond. Or just in general, if teenagers tend to have more, like, intense emotion about things. So, I think that anyone, if it was a teenager paired with another teenager something like that was gonna happen it didn't matter if they had a romantic connection or whatever um wow probably gonna be a lot of ums in this but I did want to go over a few things I gotta find where the right notes are because I have a lot of notes in here and apparently so does Athena okay I found the page so I talked a little bit about the first part from the sneak peeks, and most of that stuff has happened. Um, whenever the first episode back happened, the mid-season premiere, I talked about, um, like, Connie and the baby, Henry and Beta, the altercation that we see that's going to happen in the next episode, which I'm so excited for. Um, Luke and Alden, all of that type of stuff I already talked about. Now, what I did not talk about was my Pike list. Now, I might go a bit in-depth in another video. Uh, like I said, I've been saying that I was going to do a predictions video, but then Athena's birthday happened. And again, I'll put up some pictures of the tutu that I made her for her birthday. It took hours to make and it was a lot of fun. It was kind of like when people sit around and knit. It was kind of like that. It was very relaxing. But anyway, um, I did say that people who I think are not going to be Pike victims, and I said that those people are Michonne, Carol, Daryl, The King, Kelly, and Judith, and RJ. Uh, I said those because I think that Judith, RJ, Daryl, Carol, and Michonne are all, like, safety characters. But that also kind of gives hints as to who might be on them, considering, like, who they're with. Because I don't think that they're going to die, so obviously the people with them would die. Um, Kelly, because Angel Theory was 
given this role and they changed it from the comic role and typically if they add you in like that or add you in when they didn't have a character at all to base you from then I, they just like keep you around a bit longer than other characters so that's why I think that she is going to stay in. And then King Ezekiel mainly because I mean I know of course it could definitely happen and of, of course clearly it's like my favorite characters always are the ones to die. Um, but with all of the people that our community leaders leaving and just not being in the show, I I just don't think it's a bright idea. But then again, they did kill Carl and Jesus and some other things that I don't think were that bright of ideas. So it could happen. Now, the ones that I said for sure were Luke and Alden, but Luke and Alden are back and safe now. So they're kind of, I don't know, my list has kind of changed at this point, but I want to say what my list was so you guys get an idea of like kind of why I thought this. Now, I'm gonna go, I wrote down 10, and I went kind of like importance wise. So I'm gonna start at 10, and I wrote 10 just red shirt. Like maybe showing a little bit of the story like in the comics, like it showed like a strip of story and then like the pike. So random red shirt, but at this point I might fill them in now. Um, nine, I have a Scott, which is, uh, Sasha's real life husband. I think he's like one of the only like original Alexandrians left. And then I have Laura slash one of Negan's wives. And some of these, like I said, they can change just for the simple fact that have we seen any of Negan's wives? No. Could we? Yes. Um, Laura being the person that's now on the council at Alexandria. I have Cal as number seven. Kind of, some of these are kind of just just because. Like, Scott, Red Shirt, Laura, Cal. Just because. One of the teams that Henry was hanging with as six. So, um, whenever he was hanging out and, like, got drunk and all that, possibly one of those I think would be a good option. Now, these were the more important ones that are probably going to change now. Five being Tammy Rose, which I kind of still am going with at this point. Still am feeling Tammy Rose. Three and four as Alden and Luke. So those might change. One or both of those might change. Or they might stay the same. I have to really, really think about it after this episode. And I might make a new Pike list after. So the second one is super complicated. But um, I have written down. <laughs> this is really, when I say it, you're going to be like, what? Um, I have it written down as Rosita slash Eugene slash Tara slash Sadiq slash Gabriel. Um, I just think that one person in that scenario, it's changed now, but this is just what I had before, and I have changed my mind since then, so just keep in mind that this is who I thought at the time. I just kind of thought one person in that situation, but I guess I would go ahead and take out Tara, because I think that she's kind of here to stay for a little bit with how secure and everything that she makes people at Hilltop feel. And then, last but not least, I think the big one is going to be Henry. And as this season goes along, I just feel more set in stone that it is going to be Henry. Now, I think that a major, 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 major thing that plays into this is who finds them. Because thinking about the comics... Let me think about this. I have to think about this. Actually, I was going to say I have to think about this really hard, but I don't really. So, it's basically Rick... Carl and Lydia because Lydia comes back with them and Rick discovers the Pikes and also Michonne, Andrea, and this one I might get wrong but I feel like it, it was Dante or someone like that some kind of like more secondary type character so that is who discovers it and I feel who discovers it has to be crucial in who they put because it can't be like Tara stumbles upon like a bunch of people that she doesn't know who they are and it wouldn't be like really impactful also like, if somebody like Tara were to show up would the impact put an impact on us because I feel like it's definitely going to be a major thing whoever discovers it has to be like a super like passionate loving type person and I'm kind of leaning towards um actually I wrote down Carol slash Zeke slash Michonne slash Tara and like I said, it plays in with who would feel passionately about what. So basically, 
I mean, it's not, I don't feel like it's going to be just one person. It could be a group of people, but it would have to be someone that is very impactful to them. So obviously, if Carol and Zeke were to pull up and Henry's head is on a pike, it would be a massive thing. Um, Michonne, I don't know. I don't know, because I feel like Rosita or Gabriel or someone like that would have an impact with her, but would that have as much of an impact with us? In the comics, obviously, yes, her being there was a big deal because King Ezekiel was on a pike and they were romantically involved. Um, I mean, at any point in time, they were, at some point, they were romantically involved and I think it, like, fell off and it was about to be a thing again. And that's what kind of got Zeke on a pike. Um, but yeah, so I think it really, truly depends on who all is going to be there. And I think tomorrow, I might go ahead right after this and make a predictions video because my, my thoughts have most certainly changed since this. And I have some interesting story to run by you guys in that um, predictions one as to why I think the number two person is the number two person to see if some of you guys might agree or disagree with me. Um, but yes, let's see. I will say one more thing. Henry, I feel like, is going to be another... <laughs> people are going to come for me for this. But another failed non-rescue from Daryl. And I, I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean that I just, I don't see it working out like he plans. Things never work out how he plans. And this is part of the constant cycle that makes me not like his character. Is that typically it's like, um, all this person's in danger. Let me try this. Or let me do this crazy irrational thing. What do you mean my insanity isn't working yet again? And then like pity party and it's kind of on loop. And that's how I feel about his character. I know... If you guys disagree, I understand, but that's just how I feel about the situation. And I feel like just, in general, two people, come on. Two people, there's no way that they're going to be able to get Henry out of that situation. Like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. I just think that the more and more this goes by... It's making me really think that Henry is going to be that top death. And, like, who who else to discover it but someone like Carol or someone like Zeke or... I don't know. I just don't see it going. But I see that being, like, the biggest impact on us. So I will make a predictions video for tomorrow. <laughs> like, slowly talk myself into it with this outro that is going to be extremely long. Um, but, yeah... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below, what are your predictions for the Pike victims? Because it has to be this this season, right? It has to be. It's all leading up to it. I'm so excited for Beta in the next one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. And like I said, last week, seeing all of your guys' really supportive comments meant a lot to me. And I do genuinely, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. And like I always say, think positive thoughts, and send positive vibes. Bye, guys.